Okay, so once you have logged in and registered your account, you're going to be a bit um, overwhelmed by all the options. So to make a po poster, this is what I would do. Firstly, go to where it says home and just click on that, make sure you've got this screen. Okay, and then I would pick document. Go to document and then I would pick something like flyer uh, and then I would click on create from scratch. And that will load an A4 size document for you. So then what you need to do is go to the toolbar on the left and make sure it says media. And then click in where it says photos and type something like warning sign. Now the thing is, you can choose whatever you want. This is just what I'm showing you is just an example. So play with the system, play with the software. You can't go wrong with anything. If you ever get stuck or you, you don't like something, you can always click the back arrow up here. So going back to, the, to that symbol that I've chosen, I like that one, so I'm going to choose that one. It's quite small, so you put your cursor on it and you can drag and do whatever you want with it. So there you go, and you can even, I think it'll even centre it for you automatically. And then, for example, what I would do is, well, that looks pretty good. It says what I want. So I'll go to text. And instead of choosing all these options that you've got here, I would just do add your text and then put something like warning, I don't know, fire hazard. And you can see it's in the way. So then I'll move that down there and I think it will center it for me if I want it to. Yep, there we go. And then on the left hand side, you see the AI is suggested different types of text for you. So I might choose that one. Okay, and then I think it's not very big, so let's just make it a bit big. Okay, drag that over there and put that there. And that is basically your sign, just get rid of that. So, um, but what I want to see and what you choose to want to see is a little bit more than that. So have a play, see what you think. Remember, everything is here on the left hand side media, all the options for photos. You're not a graphic designer, you aren't training to be a graphic designer training to be a painter and decorator, plaster, construction worker, all that sort of area. So don't worry, you're not designing things. All you need to do is look for something that you think will be sufficient for a, um, a hazard warning sign. It doesn't have to be high fire. It can be whatever you want it to be. Um, so just have a play and see how you think. If you get stuck with anything, you just click the arrow there. If you want to put it back, you click the arrow there. And if you don't like it, you can click on here top left hand corner I'm not going to click on it because that'll wipe out the graphic it will take you right back to the home screen and you can just start from scratch all right and there's no rights and wrongs just try your best but think about it in terms of being a paint and decorator and you've been asked to create a warning sign using your laptop um, because you're on site somewhere and they haven't got one and when you've finished all you need to do is click download and it chooses the best format for you. So ignore that. Just do what it tells you to do and click download. It'll ask you to say, I'm downloading it. Where do you want to download it? I download it to my downloads folder. But I would suggest you download it to your OneDrive and then uh, email a copy to your tutor so they can have a look at it. And then just tick the box that says, uh, I have completed this task on Moodle. OK, and I will check to make sure that is done. And so will your tutors. But make sure you email a copy to your tutor. That way they can get it and they can have a look at it for you. All right. And that's all you need to do. So good luck again.